Hi everyone, welcome back to Kitchen World Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video, um, what I'm going to do is just talk about some things for the channel, um, some other stuff we're going to be covering um, throughout the time. Um, first off, I want to apologise, I've not put a video up now for about three or four weeks. And basically that's due to, um, well, I call it an illness, but um, I've had inflammation in my joints, uh, in my fingers, my um, knees and uh, my ankles so I've not been uh, well I've been hobbling around a bit uh, been off work um, still an ongoing thing um, so I, I won't put too much into it but um, yeah lost my mojo a bit so I'm not doing any painting or hobbying or anything um, so um, feeling a bit riper today so I thought I'd put this video up um, so right let's get cracking um, First off, um, I found um, since lockdown finished in the UK, um, we've been really struggling to get three of us together, um, either me and Wayne or me and Tom, as you've probably seen. Um, and that's due to the fact of the way that our shifts uh, fall, because uh, usually we do filming on uh, a Friday night, we do a battle report and everything, um, but it, it's, it's just not working out. Um, so in between time, uh, there's not a lot of battle reports going on. So what I'm aiming to do is, like I did during the lockdown, is do a few solo uh, games. And I've said this before in another video, but not got around to doing it. But that's what I'm going to be doing. Small uh, bolt action games, um, me versus me. Uh, be funny to see who wins. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing um, about that until, um, you know, obviously when we can get together, we will do. And we'll do some battle reports for that. Um, also with the channel, um, what we're going to do is cover more rules uh, for Bolt Action. Uh, we're going to be looking at the s smaller rules. We've done like the main stuff, um, how tanks work, troops, uh, the buildings and everything like that. So we're going to look at like uh, team weapons, uh, how, how you go about using team weapons, um, airstrikes, artillery and stuff like that. So probably a bit short videos um, but like you know it helps us as well get our head around the, the rules a bit more and uh, obviously if you're a new player or you've been playing for a while not too sure uh, hopefully that'll help you out also we're going to be uh, looking at some of the special rules like tough fighters stubborn um, inexperienced and all that kind of stuff uh, again the same sort of uh, theory helps us out and hopefully it'll be helping you out if you're a new player uh, like I said, an existing player, I'm not too sure how it fully works. Um, we'll be diving into them. Um, also, uh, we're going to cover the uh, weapon rules as well. Uh, you know, the stats on the weapons. Um, probably how we found the best way to use weapons as well uh, in the game. And like I say, uh, as we do these, any comments, um, you know, if we do get something wrong, um, always leave your comments. Uh, it helps us to help you sort of thing. And um, yeah, I always read them and I always try to get back to you. <clears throat> um, also, we're going to look at um, doing, um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes because um, like I said in the past, um, I bugger for forgetting things. Um, where was I up to? Um, yeah, we're going to do uh, army updates, uh, show you where we're up to with bolt, uh, both bolt action and black powder. Um, because like uh, I once did say that all my armies were finished for bolt action, but nah, they never are, are they? And um, as you can see on the table here, I've just got the, uh, the new commando set. Um, so I'll probably do an unboxing of that, uh, showing you how I put them together. But I was thinking for the, um, these commandos, um, I'm thinking of using them in the um, solo games, you know, doing uh, one model, one die sort of thing. So it's small. Um, mission type games, uh, see if the commandos can uh, reach a target or uh, mission objectives, stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes, but like I did with the Canadians, I'll show you unboxing, uh, making them and painting them and then seeing them in action. Uh, I've also ordered uh, the pre-order of the new Italians uh, for about action, uh, which uh, yeah, quite looking forward to. Um, as you know, I've got, uh, well, trying to get my North Africa stuff. Uh, I've got all the models made up. It's just getting them painted and uh, I think I'll um, start getting stuck into them now as well, uh, especially when I get things sorted out uh, health wise and uh, I get my mojo back for uh, painting. I'll really hammer them out and get them ready. Um, the only thing I need once those are uh, made is the buildings 
and scenery. Uh, I've got the battle map, uh, so I just need to work on the next as well. Uh, also, I'll do a few more uh, painting guides. Um, I, as you know, I'm not a fantastic painter. There are some really fantastic painters out there, um, but mine are, are just enough to get them on the uh, battlefield onto the tabletop, uh, ready to play, so you don't get bogged down with like you know spending a lot of time on one model. It's just get them out looking good, uh, ready to play the games. And that's what I always aim for with my uh, painting, especially with, um, you know, I've got a dodgy eye, so I've got no depth perception. So doing the fine details like eyes or painting teeth or anything like that, I, I don't know how close I am to things and I just blodge them up. Um, so I, I just get enough so they look good on the tabletop. So going to be covering more of that, showing you how, the, how I do the black powder stuff as well. Uh, there's a painting competition going on from Lack of Foresight um, Gaming. Um, if you pop over to their site, I'll put a link in the bottom. Um, as you know, I did one before and it, we're doing it every quarterly. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with, with this health problem I've, I've got at the moment and losing my mojo to paint, uh, I won't be taking part in this one. So sorry, guys. Um, I know I've um, given nudge and um, got bring them uh, Richard from uh, Bring and uh, Battle War Gaming, um, you know, I've pushed him to get on the competition and uh, sorry mate, but I'm not in this one. Uh, the next one, definitely, because um, it ends at the, it, the, the paint competition ends at the end of this month, um, October. So I, I don't think I'll be able to get anything done uh, to that sort of standard. So uh, I'll miss this one and definitely be on the other one. Um, yeah, so um, I just want to say uh, thank you to all the people who've liked and subscribed. Um, subscribe accounts going up and up. Uh, thank you very much. And what I decided to do was um, I've got these uh, German, early German uh, models that I've not used in game yet. And uh, I was thinking about selling them or getting rid of them. So what I've decided to do is once I hit a thousand subscribers, um, I'm going to give these away free. Um, basically, um, once I hit that mark, I'll randomly pick a name of somebody, let you know who you are, uh, and um, if you send me your uh, address, um, you know, privately, um, I'll get these sent off to you. Um, they are fully painted, uh, except for the bases. Um, I've got um, like a base coat on them, so you can base them up how you want to. Um, that's all you need to do with them. Um, but yeah, it's a shame to um, keep them sitting with uh, collecting dust. So I thought I'll pass it on to you guys uh, once I hit that thousand uh, uh, subscriptions. Um, I think that's about it. Um, just a quick one, just to let you know um, what's been happening with me, where I'm up to. Um, like I say, not a lot of hobbying or painting, well, virtually none done. Um, um, I am going to see a specialist and things and hopefully uh, get me back on the right track once you find out uh, why I've got this inflammation uh, in me. Um, so in the meantime, uh, just remember you can still uh, support the channel um, uh, by buying us a coffee. Again, I'll put the link in the uh, description below. And um, yeah, just to say thanks guys. Um, thanks for bearing with me. Um, and uh, at the moment as well, I've got a poll on um, YouTube uh, asking what you'd like to see more of, either um, more bolt action or more um, black powder. Um, so if you don't see that, um, if you can leave a comment in the below, uh, below just say bolt action or black powder. And because um, what I was trying to do was um, do like each week uh, a bolt action video and then a black powder video and then bolt action. But I'm just getting stuck on things and especially at the moment. So um, I just want to see what you guys would like me to concentrate more on. And every so often I'll, I'll bring in videos of the, uh, the other one. Um, also um, to help support the channel and everything, uh, I was thinking of doing a Patreon uh, where, you know, you can join up and help support us so we can get, um, you know, more, more models, more painting stuff, uh, equipment, uh, and stuff like that to make the channel better. Uh, I'd, I'd love your support on that one. Uh, if you think it's a good idea, just leave us a comment below. Uh, like I say, I'm scratching my head about that at the moment. I, I don't think it's, I don't like asking um, for stuff like that, but um, 
you know if you could help the channel that'd be fantastic okay i think that's it um any comments any questions leave them below uh leave us a like as well and like i said thanks to all the subscribers and if you haven't uh please do so and um okay so that's about it so in the meantime remember to make it paint it and play it thanks very much guys i'll see you again soon bye now